This podcast is for you, the modern man. I'm Dr. Ann Trung, your host. I'm an intimate health medical doctor and best-selling author of the book, Erectile Dysfunction Fix. I'll do a deep dive into sexual health and performance and how it affects men of all ages and backgrounds. So let's get started and be sure to visit my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com for more information and resources from the show. See you on the inside. Well, hello there, modern man. In this episode, I am going to talk about some over-the-counter ED pills alternative that you can uh, try out. So you ever you know that you can't get Viagra over the counter, and it has to be a prescription. But there are other alternatives that you may consider doing. And again, these are not uh, FDA approved, but there are some studies that may show that it uh, does help. So we're going to go over those five um, um, supplements today. So stay tuned. I'd love for you to subscribe to uh, my channel, leave a review, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. So uh, I my, uh, my suggestion first is that if you find that you have ED, First, find out the cause first. Don't don't try to take the pill. I, in my previous episode, um, I talk about the sick system that is involved with uh, a sexual arousal and, and re- erection. Is that starts in the brain and the emotion and uh, the hormone, the nerve, the blood vessels, and the muscle. So evaluate those six systems and determine. Uh, uh, you know, whether maybe the brain and emotions involved or the hormones involved, if you find that you have um, uh, ED. Now, people say, well, I, I'm older, therefore I have ED. That's a natural progression. Well, that's not true. It's just that older men have uh, a higher uh, propensity to have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, uh, being overweight and stressed, and uh, not not sleeping well. well those, all those factors compound to affect the sick system that I talk about, and therefore they're more common in older men, and they contribute to uh, ED. But not necessarily when you get older that you cannot get an erection. So. Please keep that uh, in mind. So let's talk about the first one. Now, I want to stress again, these are not FDA approved. FDA do not um, evaluate uh, supplement. Uh, another uh, disclosure, this is for educational purposes only. And if you're getting um, supplement, there are hidden ingredients of, uh, that are in there and that some of these supplements can um, uh uh, react with your prescription medication. And of course, always talk to your doctor first before you start taking uh, these uh, alternative uh, and always find out the cause of why you have ED rather than trying to take uh, a pill and start with your diet. The Medi- and First, change your diet to a Mediterranean diet and, and also evaluate your exercise regime. So the first one is DH. E-A. And uh, that's a long name for that, but it's essentially the father of testosterone. It, it is the, the metabolite, uh, the, the first uh, ingredient that testosterone needs in order for it to become testosterone in your body. But DHEA actually comes from cholesterol. So it's important to know that you know you, you 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 want to lower your cholesterol, but you don't want to lower much lower than 140 because you need that to make your sex uh, hormone. And DHEA is the father of testosterone. DHEA naturally decreases with age, and um, but if you take a supplement of maybe 10 milligram to 25 milligram, it can help. Uh, um, uh, with making more testosterone, therefore, can uh, help with uh, ED. But uh, be really careful because it can also uh, um, elevate t- um, estrogen or estradiol as well too. Number two is L-arginine. Again, all of this I will put in the show note for reference for you to uh, refer to. 
So number two is L-arginine. L-arginine actually uh, it help with uh, increasing blood flow by making nitrous oxide more available. Um, and that's why it's been widely uh, used. And L-arginine is uh, something that you can take um, um, as a supplement uh, as well and uh, ranges from about 200 uh, milligram to 1,000 milligram. You got to be really careful because taking too much will cause uh, cramping and nausea. Number three is um, uh, Korean red ginseng or panak uh, ginseng. It uh, actually help increase uh, blood flow. Um, we talk about blood flow in the previous episode uh, where you, you need to have increase in blood flow to get an erection and uh, the blood flow is dependent upon the arteries uh, um, the, you, know, you need to have the, the blood vessel be able to expand. Uh, and if you have the narrowing of the arteries, uh, then, you know, you'll have decreased blood flow to uh, the penis. And uh, the uh, Panax ginseng or Korean red ginseng help with increasing blood flow. However, the side effects of that, it can interfere with blood clotting and it can also uh, cause uh, trouble uh, sleeping. Uh, number four, Yohimbi. Uh, Yohimbi increases uh, norepinephrine, which is a, um, a neurotransmitter release that will help with an erection. And... Um, no epinephrine is also responsible for uh, um, orgasm and uh, ejaculation. However, no epinephrine uh, or yohembi, which affect the no epinephrine pathway, also have multiple side effects such as increasing blood pressure, increasing your heart rate, and it can cause uh, dizziness, nausea, and insomnia as well as anxiety. So be very careful when you take yohembi. It not should not be taken uh, lightly. Number uh, five is L-carnitine. L-carnitine, uh, it uh, increases uh, blood flow. And uh, again, blood flow uh, help with uh, erection. However, it has side effects of nausea, vomiting, and pain in the stomach, as well as uh, chest pain. It has a fishy uh, odor. Once you take it, a fishy odor in uh, your breath and uh, in your uh, urine. Um, I will I'll put this in the show note. And uh, again, these supplements are not FDA approved. If you get the supplement, make sure you get it from a provider that is able to get it from uh, an FDA-approved uh, facility with a good, pure component. Because sometimes when you buy uh, the supplements over the counter or on the internet, you don't know what the hidden uh, ingredients are, whether they're pure or, or is full with filler. And that keep in mind that these uh, supplements can enter uh interfere and react with your prescription medication. And it does have side effects, so it's not to be taken lightly. Again, if you have ED, uh, uh, find out the cause of your ED first uh, and work upon that and start with just sleep, de-stress, uh, improve your diet. Ch uh, ha I, I advocate a Mediterranean diet and also uh, exercise with high intensity um, uh, and training, hit exercise of three, uh, 30 minutes, three times a week. Just doing those four things will actually goes a long way uh, with initiating that and stop uh, eating simple carbohydrates and stop drinking uh, uh, sodas and also, you know, uh, stop smoking because smoking will definitely interfere with uh, your blood flow uh, capacity. Uh, if you smoke, it, it kinda, uh, it's uh, the number one fa uh, risk factor for ED as well as uh, uh, drink uh, um, a lot of alcohol. Uh, what, how much is a lot? But m more than two uh, ounces of uh, hard liquor uh, a day uh, or two glasses of wine uh, a day. And also, always talk with your doctor first before you initiate the uh, um, ED pill uh, alternative. 
um, and make sure that it doesn't interfere with the medication. Make sure it's safe. Check your uh, blood pressure. Um, again, this is only for educational purposes uh, only, and uh, it's something to consider because you know that you know you, uh, Viagra or Tadalafil you cannot take uh, over the counter, and that those have very serious uh, side effects. Again, if you have chest pain, if you take nitrate, then you should not. Uh, take these uh, uh, supplements, uh, and uh, they're actually um, not indicated for uh, taking a Sudenafil or Tadalafil. So having said that, I just want to briefly just show you some of these five uh, alternatives and, uh, for you to consider. And Modern Man, I will see you in the next episode.